So there are a lot of different attempts to teach non-human primates, uh, chimpanzees in particular, uh, but others, but non-human primates human language of some kind. And we're going to talk first here uh, about early attempts to do this, teaching chimpanzees. And it turns out that teaching chimpanzees to speak does not, or did not anyway, work out very well. So uh, in the 1930s, Gua uh, was a chimpanzee who was raised in a human home and treated like a human infant along with a couple sons. So like the very same experiences, all the experiences as much as possible. So both language and non-language experiences were, were as identical as possible. That environment was the same for Gua, the chimpanzee, and the couple son. And what ended up happening was that Gua's motor skills surpassed the child's, but Gua never learned to speak while the child did, right? So that just sort of immersing uh, the chimpanzee in the same environment as a human child did not allow the chimpanzee to learn to speak. And in the 1940s and 50s, Vicky was another chimpanzee raised in a human home. And this time they decided to be more active about teaching uh, Vicky how to, how to speak. And she was actively taught to produce words. And so by six years old, she could say mama, papa, cup, and up. And that was it. Right, this is far different from your average six-year-old. So if you were having an English-speaking six-year-old and all they could say after being actively taught to produce words was mama, papa, cup, and up, you would be very worried, right? But this is as far as Vicky was able to get. 